the user performs an action and the application routes to this particular component. As part of the component initialization, the code calls a method in the data service to get the data for the template. Our data service calls Angular's HTTP service and says, Hey, HTTP service, please get my data. The HTTP service replies, OK, here's an observable. I'll use it to provide a notification when I receive the data. Our code then subscribes to that observable. The HTTP service sends the HTTP request to the backend server. That server may run some code. It may call a stored procedure to retrieve the data, and it may run more code to process that data before returning a response. In the meantime, the Angular application continues running. It may display the template even though it has not yet received the data it requested. The data service has an observable, but that observable has not yet emitted a notification. At some later time, though it may only be milliseconds later, the backend server returns the response to the HTTP service. The HTTP service takes that response and uses the observable in our data service to emit a notification. That notification contains the HTTP response with our data. Our code then reacts to that notification and processes the returned data. One option at this point is to react to the notification and create a signal from the data emitted by the observable. The component references that signal. The template displays that signal and our data appears. Using RxJS with signals is like music and lyrics. Used together, they form a perfect harmony of reactive programming. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.